Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're dealing with groin pain, you know how disruptive it can be to your daily life. In this video, we're going to go through the common causes of groin pain, some exercises if you're currently injured, and some exercises that can prevent this injury. As always, timestamps will be available down below. Typically, a groin strain is an injury to the muscle tendon unit of the adductor muscle group, either along the muscle belly, tendon, or its insertion into the pubic bone. This is usually injured through repetitive strain, sudden stretching, or trauma to the area in sports or activities that require a strong eccentric contraction of the adductor. This just means loading of these muscles while in a lengthened position, which can occur with change of direction or kicking motions. There are the causes of pain in the groin area, such as an inguin or hernia, or injury to the hip flexors, but for this video, we'll be discussing the management of an adductor strain resulting in groin pain. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy involved. The adductor muscle group consists of adductor longus, magnus and brevis, gracilis and pectineus. They are all situated on the inside part of the thigh and run up towards the pubic bone. When activated, they generate strength to pull your leg inwards. You'll also see the hip flexor muscles here, which are the iliosolus, psoas, iliacus, and rectus femoris muscles, which are the other group of muscles that can be injured and result in groin pain. Jumping into what exercises you can do if you're currently injured, we're gonna start with a simple adductor squeeze. This is used to rehabilitate the adductors after a strain and should be done pain-free. Using a small rolled up towel or ball, place it in between your knees and gently squeeze your knees together. There should be minimal pain with this action. Hold this squeeze for two seconds before relaxing and then repeating this for 10 repetitions, three sets. Initially in your injury, you might find that you're unable to generate full strength without pain and this would be normal given the type of injury. Once you are able to perform a maximal contraction without pain, you can move on to the next progression for these exercises. The intermediate progression for the adductors will be to perform the same squeeze while moving up into a bridge. And so lying on your back, place the same rolled up towel or ball in between your knees. Initiate the squeeze and while holding, lift yourself up into a bridge as far as you can without onset of pain. Then lower back down and relax the squeeze before repeating again. This will engage your adductors through more hip range and work them with more load. Repeat this for 10 repetitions, three sets. We can then progress to sumo squats to engage your adductors in a more weight bearing position. Have your feet wide and turned out to 30 degrees. Squat down to at least 90 degrees before pushing back up. You should feel your inner thighs engage as you squat down. And you can make this more difficult by holding a weight between your hands as you perform the squat. Repeat this for 10 reps, three sets. If you're looking for some exercises to help prevent re-injury or injury of the adductors, this next section will cover three exercises that will progress in difficulty that can help with prevention. Sideline adductor strengthening will be our first exercise. To do this, lie on your side with the bottom leg straight. This will be our training leg. The top leg will be bent up and the foot will be placed in front of our moving leg. This will allow for some space for our bottom leg to move up. Lift up your bottom leg while keeping it straight by engaging your inner thigh. Then lower it back down and repeat. This will isolate your adductors and use them against gravity. Repeat this for 10 repetitions, three sets. Our intermediate progression will involve having your training leg supported by a bench or a friend. Place your training leg onto a bench to start off with bent at the knee. Raise yourself up into a side plank, starting with the other leg touching the ground. Engage with your training leg to lift your other leg off the ground and hold the side plank. Then lower your other leg back down to the ground. Repeat this for 10 repetitions, three sets. This will be a much more forceful contraction of your adductors compared to lifting the leg inside line. Our advanced progression will be almost the same as the intermediate progression, but this time you'll have your foot on the bench rather than just your knee. Once again, starting in a side plank, this time placing your foot on the bench, lift up your other leg while keeping your body straight and then lower it back down. 
Repeat this for 10 repetitions, three sets. As the anchor point is further down the leg, your adductors will work much harder to lift your body up. If your groin pain is not elicited by performing an adductor squeeze, you may not have injured this group of muscles. In that case, you may be suffering from a different injury, such as an inguinal hernia or a hip flexor injury. As always, it is important to seek professional medical help to get assessed and treated properly. And that brings us to the end of this video discussing groin pain as a result of an adductor injury. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you have, leave me a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you'd like to learn more about a different injury, maybe you'd like to check out this video next.